Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a first impressions on um, the haul that I did on all the products that I got. So I'll show you um, how I used them and what I did and let's get right into it. Starting with the foundation, um, I just primed my face. I used the um, Clean and Clear Morning Burst uh, Moisturizer. I used the Hangover RX to prime my face. And now I'm going in with the new uh, Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin um, Foundation. I'm in this shade Sun Beige. This is 85 Sun Beige. So it has a nice uh, pump to it, a nice uh, pump um, applicator. I'm just going to pump some on the back of my hand. Um, it's not runny, it's really a nice uh, consistency so far. I'm going to be using my Sigma F80 brush to um, apply it. I like to spray my brush with a little uh, Fix Plus. Just makes it go on a little smoother. To use the uh, Smashbox uh, Photo Finish Primer Water. I'm going to spray that. And I'm going to go in with the foundation. Pat it all over my face. Um, color matches me really well. I'm just going to blend that in. Going in really nicely. Um, covering up some redness that I had around my nose. My um, neck it really feels good. It's not heavy. The coverage it really feels really silky smooth. And that's with the um, foundation. I'm really liking it so far. It looks um, very flawless. It also has some um, sunscreen in it. It's SPF uh, 15 and it's oil free. It doesn't feel tacky or anything, so I'm really liking that. My e.l.f. under eye um, eye primer under here because um, I tend to get dry under my eyes. I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Better um, Super Stay Better Skin Concealer. That's what that looks like. And I got it in the shade Light Medium. Very silky smooth. A triangle. Uh, I'm going to blend it with this. So I'm going to blend it out with a damp uh, beauty blender. It blends out really nicely. Um, I've used this before already and it really is a nice one. I like the way it feels. It has great coverage. I've just been loving it. And that is that. And like I said, I really do like it so far. I'm going to set my face with um, a powder. I'm going to be using my BH uh, Studio Pro in the shade 230. I'm going to be using my Shade and Light uh, palette by Kat Von D to uh, set my under eyes. I'm going to be using the shade Lyric and it's this color right here. I'm going to be using my e.l.f. blush brush for this. It's just a perfect um, setting brush. It gets right under my eyes. Colors I used was uh, Creme Boulet by uh, Makeup Geek in my crease. And I used the um, Desert Sands by the Makeup Geek um, shadow in the Vegas Lights palette in my crease. Now I'm going to go in with Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Waterproof Cream Color in Iced Blue. I'm in the shade Ice Blue. I'm going to be using a little elf um, angled brush for this to apply it. I think I'm just going to do a wing um, at the end. They're so creamy. These are very intense. Look at that. So pretty. It's gorgeous. They're so easy to work with. Um, oh, they're so creamy and just so easy to blend out. I mean, it's so easy to work with. These are amazing. 
I want to get some more colors. Oh, I'm in love already. So I'm going to do the other eye off camera and I'll let you know what the end result looks like. And that is the other eye. Ah, uh, these are so easy to work with. Oh, they're so creamy and nice. I love it so much. So far, so good. I'm gonna go in with the um, NYX uh, White Liquid Liner Eyeliner and I'll see how that goes. I'm just going to um, line it out and see how it goes. So I use the NYX uh, Matte Liquid Liner on the um, bottom wing. Then I use the White NYX um, Liner on the top. And I used from the Artist Palette, the Anastasia Artist Palette, I used the Orange You Fancy all over the lid. And I also used it on the bottom uh, lash line. The next thing I'm going to use is the Lime Crime Venus Palette. It's this color Aurora. I'm going to highlight the brow bone with my um, brush. I'm also going to highlight the inner corners. I'm going in with my uh, Kat Von D Shade and Light and I'm going to contour my face with the Sombre and Shadow Play. Right here, I'm going to contour. I'm just using this um, angled blush brush from e.l.f. Um, if you have a suggestion on a nice um, contour brush, can you let me know in the comment box. Thing not too expensive. I was going to get the Kat Von D um, tour brush but it was like $36 or something. So um, if you have an inexpensive one. And the lashes I used are the Ardell Glamour ones in 106. Um, those are the lashes that I used today from my haul. And that's them right there. And I'm going to be taking my MAC uh, Freshen Up Highlight Powder and I'm going to highlight my cheekbones using the Sigma Highlighter Brush, the F35, and just highlight the top of my cheeks. Gorgeous. It's like a golden peach color. Absolutely stunning. I think I'm going to go in with uh, Milani's um, Luminoso. I haven't used that one in a while. So I'm going to pop that on there. Just going to go in with a powder brush and blend everything together. I'm just going to set my face with the L'Oreal Infallible uh, Pro Spray and Set. And for my lips, uh, I think I'm going to go with Exfoliated first with the Lush uh, Mint Julep um, Lip Scrub. For my lips, I'm going to be using the Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in Pretty Pink and just um, line my lips. Then I'm going to go in with Urban Decay's Native Lipstick. It's my favorite lipstick. This is the final look. Um, I love it so far. I love um, everything that I got. So um, I hope you liked my uh, little uh, first impressions. Um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.